How's it going, people? Salmon Slapper here. And yeah, it's been a week since the last video, so I thought I may as well make one again. I haven't completed Mass Effect, and I'm still uploading Final Fantasy XIV on the other channel, X Salmon Slapper X. So if you're curious, then you can go ahead and jump over there and watch that. But today, we'll be doing a little guide. Well, I say guide. I don't, some of you people may actually know about this, although some of you may not, and it is actually pretty awesome. So... Today we'll be covering how to level your crafting, smithing, mining, and magic all together at pretty much the same time. Your mining and smithing and crafting will almost hit 99 at the same time, if they're all the same level. So it's actually a very, very good method. And you can make a slight bit of profit, or you make, might make a slight loss if you're going to buy all the ingredients. So this is what it's all about. First of all, you'll need... 40 mining to actually do this and I'm sure you've all guessed why you need 40 mining already but with 40 mining you can actually go ahead and mine yourself lots of gold you can see that 40 required so 40 you probably weren't thinking there's no place to actually go mine gold well there is and there isn't the best place I found without using the living rock caverns is on the northwest corner of Brimhaven it's slightly northwest of your player portal house which is actually on Brimhaven Island and right up in that northwest corner there's about 10 gold rocks I think it is and you can pretty much cycle through all of them non-stop constantly and then well for the sake of speed you can then teleport back to Ardy, bank it and then catch the boat back over and do it again so it is f a bit slower than using rock uh, living rock caverns but it is the best place to do it if you don't have the mining level so once you've mined a bunch of gold, it really doesn't take that much to level up. But once you've got, say, I know, 5k, nice and easy number, once you've got about 5k of that, just to try it out, you then need to have yourself 40 smithing. So with 40 smithing, this will actually allow you to make yourself some gold bars. Now you're probably thinking, why would I level up with gold? It's really shit XP. Well, true, I'll give you that. It's actually 22.5 XP per gold bar. But, and this is what makes the massive difference, if you do a quest called Family Crest, you can actually get yourself some goldsmithing gauntlets. Now, what these do is just over doubles the amount of XP you get for making gold bars. So without the gloves on, you will actually get 22.5 XP per bar. But with the gloves on, you'll gain 56.2 XP with per bar, which is pretty massive. If you don't understand how large that is, the fact is rune bars only give you 50 XP. So that is fucking huge XP. And gold is really easy to mine and get your hands on. Plus, it's actually quite cheap in the auction house if you're going to buy the ores. Which is where we move on to our next step, which is including crafting in this. Now for crafting you'll actually need to buy cut emeralds or get them yourself. It's a lot quicker if you actually just buy the emeralds. And there's normally quite a lot actually in the GE. Although this can be replaced depending on your crafting level with higher or lower gems. But you'd want to check something like RS Wiggy on the current prices and how much they alk for. For example, if you don't bother mining and you don't bother collecting the gems yourself, then for the sake of argument, that say the emeralds are about 700 each, and the gold bars are, I don't know, let's say 200 each. So that's 900 GP. Fact is, you can actually elk the emerald bracelets for 913, I think it is. So you make a slight profit if you make the natch yourself. So it's pretty much just all about that. Just work out how much it costs. If you mine the ore yourself, it will save you quite a lot of money. And you can actually then just buy nats instead of having to make them if you despise runecrafting. Yeah, there's a couple of ways around it. So just pick whatever gem seems to be the cheapest and gives you the most profit at the time. So make sure you check out the G before you actually go and do this. But for the past god knows how long I've just been using emeralds and I've been making a small amount of profit each time. As emerald bracelets do actually sell in the auction house because people use it for high elgin. Which, conveniently enough ties in our magic level. So obviously you need 55 magic for High Elgin and while doing this and spamming your smithing, mining and crafting up levels 
you can actually high elk them to gain your magic level up as well and make a tiny bit of money or save yourself some loss either way you look at it so yeah that's it it's pretty much just that very easy to do and well maybe next time i might do just a cheap mining guide or something like that but i don't know i hope you actually learned something from this if you didn't know better before i'd highly recommend it even if you just want to level smithing and don't care about crafting use gold there is absolutely no point actually using anything else anymore because it really does just fly up obviously if you want to get 99 instantly quick then you'd want to be doing like rune plates or addy plates like most people but that will also cost you a fuck ton of money so yeah this is the cheap way to level up mining smithing crafting all that junk for as little money as possible the poor man's 99 so there you go then hope you all enjoyed and found it informative and until next time i will catch you later